Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine McKenzie, Trauma Medical Director at Jamaica Hospital Medical Center. It's National Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and at Jamaica Hospital, we take care of many patients that have traumatic injuries from distracted driving. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what you can do to prevent distracted driving. Most of us think about distracted driving as driving while using a mobile device for phone calls or text messages, but distracted driving includes many other activities as well. This can include visual distractions, such as looking at maps or things on the road while you're driving, also auditory distractions, listening to loud music, or having conversations with passengers in your car. Also cognitive distractions, thinking about something that might be bothersome at work or what you're going to pick up at the store later tonight. There's also uh, manual distractions, such as fumbling for things in the glove box, looking for your phone, or trying to eat while driving. So to minimize these types of distractions, we recommend the following. Turning on a do not disturb uh, on your mobile device prior to driving. We recommend making this part of your routine when you start your car, put on your seatbelt, then put on this notification on your phone so you aren't distracted by messages you might be receiving while driving. Also, secure any um, loose items in your vehicle prior to starting your car. So make sure drinks, any food, bags, or purses are all secure prior to starting the vehicle. Also be mindful of your cognitive state. If you have a heightened emotional state, you should avoid driving until you're able to be calm and focused while on the road. Also minimizing any auditory distractions. Do not engage in any heated conversations while driving. And if you have child passengers in your car that have a tantrum while driving, you should pull over until the child is able to be calm. Most importantly, do not rush driving. Your safety and the safety of those around you comes first.